Welcome to another Jotless Marine Vlog. We're going to be showing you how to connect and how to perform a DTS calibration on Mercury Cruiser. As you may know, the G3 Smartcraft technology is available with Mercury. Mariner Comments Comments Mercruiser Diesel and Mercury Mercruiser. It works exactly the same in every brand and model. Now let's go back to the initial screen to start from the beginning. First, we need to press the inboard picture in order to access the brand menu. In this case, I'm going to use a Mercury Mercruiser. Now select the desired model, in this case, a 4.5 liter 200 ECT. DTS is already selected and by clicking into the connector symbol it will take us to the plug selection in this case we have two options available option one the first picture shows the connector location the second is the connector image third the pinout detail and fourth the cables you need jdc 600 is the marine adapter which is connected to the link interface and then we use JDC 617M, which is the Mercury G3 diagnostics cable. As you can see, we can also use other options like JDC 213M3 plus JDC 617A. Option two, although the diagnostics cable is the same, JDC 617M or A, in many Mercury G3 systems, the resistance is on the port's cover, the terminal resistance. In this case, when removing the cover, the can lines remain open, and therefore the diagnostics communication is impossible. It will be necessary to apply a resistance using JDC 650 or the JDC OBD4. When using the new V9 link, the terminal resistance is managed by the link and it is not necessary to use either the JDC650 or JDC OBD4. The V8 link is the blue box and the new V9 link is black and white. Now click connect. As you can see, Joltus Marine is guiding you through the process. To perform a DTS calibration, Click Calibration and then Digital Throttle and Shift System. As we will be performing an action that needs to write on the electronic control unit, we need the extra mode code. This code is totally free and can be requested from your client area in our website jaltes.com. Select the box and click Accept. From now on, read the instructions carefully. It is very important to understand the instructions. You need to perform every step correctly, otherwise the process will stop and you have to start all over again. Press accept. Initial conditions, the engine must be stopped. Click accept. This is the current configuration. We can have up to four engines and up to four helms. If we have doubts on the configuration, we can always click into the help button and go back to the initial instructions. As we can see with one engine, starboard, two engines, port and starboard and so on. By clicking next or previews, we will see the different configuration. As many helms and engines we have, for example, with two helms and two engines, we have four. The important information below is the helm, the engine location, the lever type, and polarity. 
Now we can click Accept. We select the number of engines the vessel has. I will select two, then Accept. Number of helms, I will select one, then Accept. As you can see, Jaltus Marine is guiding you through the process. The control levers must be in neutral position, then click Accept. Now let's start the configuration. Although I am in demo mode, here expect to see only helm 1 and the engine either port or starboard, as we have selected just two engines. Therefore, we must use the appropriate lever. Now move the lever to reverse wide open throttle position. If we have doubts with any acronyms, we can click to help button, glossary, type WOT, and you will see the meaning. Also, by getting back to the initial instructions, you can visually see the correct positions. In this case, RWOT. So after moving the lever to RWOT position, click Accept. Now we'll see again Helm 1 and the other engine. If we start with starboard, we'll now see port. Again, move the correct lever to RWOT and click Accept. All levers in neutral position and click Accept. Now the configuration has finished. You must reset the electronic system in order to register the new parameters configuration. First, turn off the ignition key, then move all levers to RWT position and wait during a few seconds until the system is completely off. You could use the clock if you wish. When it's done, switch on again and move all levers to neutral position. You will hear beep noises from the vessel. Do not worry because it's totally normal. When clicking accept, it will stop. This happens because it recognizes a new configuration, but the adaptation hasn't been done yet. Now we click accept and we'll start the adaptation. We will let the system know the correct positions it has to register on the ECM. The number of DTS system will vary depending on the number of engines. If we have two engines, the vessel has two DTS systems. Although when performing a system scan, only one DTS option will be available within Jaltus Marine. From that selection, we will be able to calibrate all DTS systems. Now let's proceed with the action. Initial conditions, the engine must be stopped, then click Accept. Now select the desired engine. We'll start with port. And we'll see only helm one because we only have one helm. Now click Accept. Select the correct lever type. The most common one is the type two Although we can always click into the help button and check if it is the type the vessel has. Type 1, 2, type 2s, type 3, type 4, and type 5. I will click type 2 and then accept. The technicians should know the correct polarity for the vessel. In two situations, Verado and inboard, Bravo 3s, the polarity will always be normal clockwise. By clicking again into the help button, we can see that information here. I will select normal because with 4.5 liter 200 ECTs, it could be a Bravo 3. Now I click accept, but before clicking accept, I need to make sure that the levers are in neutral position. Click accept. And now we're in demo mode, but we should see first 
forward. So we have to put the levers in forward position and click accept. Then forward, wide open throttle and accept. Then neutral position and accept. Then reverse position and accept. Reverse wide open throttle and accept. And finally, neutral and accept. As we did after the configuration, you must turn off the ignition key, then move all levers to RWOT position and wait for a few seconds until the system is completely off. You could use again the clock if you wish. After that, switch on again and move all levers to neutral position. Then accept. Now we start the adaptation of the other engine, starboard, and click accept. Exactly the same process using the other level, type 2, accept. Again, as we assume that we're in a Bravo 3, I will select normal and accept. So we were coming from neutral, I clicked accept and now same process. First forward and accept. Then forward wide open throttle and accept. Then neutral and accept. Reverse and accept. Reverse wide open throttle and accept. And neutral and accept. Finally, again, you must turn off the ignition key, then move all levers to RWOT position and wait for a few seconds until the system is completely off. Again, you could use the clock if you wish. Now switch on again and move all levers to neutral position and click accept. If we do not hear any alarm or beep, and the engines start, it has been calibrated correctly. Of course, check that the polarity has been configured properly. And that's it. Thank you very much for watching and see you again in another job test marine vlog.